Hi friends. In this video, let's talk about date and time functions in Power BI DAX. There are a couple of date related functions, also time related functions in the DAX related queries. So similarly, we have a similar kind of functions in the SQL queries as well. But now here I will show you how to work with a date comma time related functions in the DAX. To show you practically those examples, I will load a sample table into the Power BI desktop and I'll show you those how to use date and time related functions in the Power BI. So to show you that I, I am I'm loading a data from SQL Server. So my server name is SQL 2012. Database name is sample. Click on OK. Yeah, so it is getting low dead wait it is connecting to the sql server here i am going to select one table the name of the table is employee underscore test so let's click on load so it takes a while based on the size of the table it's going to take a time now the table has been loaded now let me go to the data view so this is the data view here you can see there are four columns here employee id employee name salary jd joining date now I am going to apply date and time functions in the joining date. How to apply these is, so let's click on a new column here. So once you click on a new column, you will get a facility to write a DAX related stuff here. So here by default, the column name of the column will come as a column name and equal to you need to write DAX expressions. So let me go to the column. Let me change the name of the column to a meaningful name. So here I'm going to make it as a, uh, day or joining day something like that i can put it joining day equal to so i want to identify the day of a joining date so let me write it day of the joining date here it's a simple syntax so j of the joining date employee underscore text you can you can simply write here see once i tie once i press enter it automatically calculates and it gives you the joining date so it can be any month here. So 10th month, 17th, first month, uh, uh, sorry, 10th, uh, first month, 10 and uh, 10th month, 12. See here, irrespective of the month, I'm going to get the joining date in a, any month. So here it is 17th date he joined. So Ruby has joined in the 10th date. So again, Danny has joined the 21st date. So I here I'm not going to bother about in which month the person has been joined. So if you want to identify in which month the person has been joined, let's create a new column. So there you can identify the month. So joining month. So here equal to month of JD. So here JD while writing a column name, you need to type a, you need to go with a table name as well. Table of column name. So here like this, so let enter. So once you type enter, you will get the month number as well. Here you can see the first jockey has joined. 17th day of your month and 10th month. So now you can see, so you joined in the 17th of the 10th month. You can see that. So when you want to calculate in a particular day, so 17th, how many people have joined? If you want to identify that. So by calculating that, you can send out a, so a successful completion of a one year message or successful completion of a 10 year message. You can send that. And if you want to see how many people have joined in a particular month over a period of time in October month, how many people have joined? So like this, you can calculate like this. You can write a formula and you can you can write a count function. You can see that these many people has joined in a 10th month. Maybe respect of the year I'm talking about. Next. So if you want to identify the year, so if you want to calculate the year, let's go to the new column. Let's click on new column here. Yeah, now here, joining year. Equal to year of so here you need to type table name employee of JD. JD is nothing but the column which is coming from my database. If you see here, joining here, I'm going to get the first employee jockey has joined in 2016 and here is 2012. It is a sample data. So don't worry, like a 2016 is coming first, later 10, 12 is coming, nothing to worry. So it's a sample data. So here it is coming as 2016, 2012, 2010 and 17 or 16. So this is how we are going to calculate the joining year of the particular employee. So from the joining date column. So these are all the date related functions. So not only these three, we have many, but 
now let's concentrate on some time functions as well how to apply time functions here so here for this uh, joining date time may not be uh, required actually but just to show you the time related functions i have captured the time as well if you see this is 7:10 this is 6:45 this is 12:50 something like that i have captured this just for time just to show you the time functions how to work the time functions i just captured i just entered the time as well for the a couple of employees so let me show you how to work with the time related functions let's click on a similar way let's click on new column so once you get a new column here you can write so joining hour i'm simply giving the example it may not be real time uh, uh, possible this kind of example but i'm just giving you how to identify hour of a particular uh, from a particular date related column so here right hour of hour of hour of the column name we need to provide so here the column name is employee joining date jd so let me just enter it so once i type it you can see the 7th here this is 7 so this is 645 so this is 120 it is 1250 is nothing but a 00 now it is 1123 it is 11 you can see that so this is how i am going to calculate the hour of a particular joining date so here it is 7 is 7 this is how we will calculate now if you want to calculate them if you want to calculate them seconds or minutes as well you can do the similar example click on new column yeah click on new column here you can say is a joining minute joining minute equal to similarly you'll write minute of employee joining date so let me write down it just i'm just showing you example that's it okay let's enter it you can see the minute as well so here you can see that 7 10 here if you can see that here it is 10 10 minutes 45 here it you can see 45 here you can see as a 23 similarly you will get the 23 here as well so this is how we fetch the minute from the date time column similarly let me identify seconds as well similarly we can do the same way let's click on new column so in the new column you will write in i'm just simply writing joining second so you may not get a this kind of practical scenario but still as yes, i am going to show you the how to fetch the seconds from the particular date time column let's write down second of date time employee test and score jd center it yes do you see this if you see here so for all the for all the employees later stuff they have a zero seconds for one particular column i have 434 27 here you can see the 24th second so this is how we will fetch the second information from the date and related column so these are all the list of date and time related functions there are many are there we'll try to cover in the next video but let's try to identify so here i am going to show you a basic example where how to fetch the day month year hour minute and second from the day time related column so this practically may not be feasible this kind of scenarios you may not face in the practical way but still yes here i am going to show you how to fetch this information from the day time related column that's it thank you for watching if you have any questions on the power bi msbi or azure please write your questions to training to sql at the rate gmail.com or you can update your comments in the youtube comment section that's it thank you for watching please subscribe and provide your valuable feedback thank you